Guys, I spent like 15 minutes trying to say this word right. Why rah? Why rah? I, I, I was going to get it wrong. Why rah? Why rah? We call it cheese. Okay? <laughs> it's cheese. I bought it from a Fulani woman, Muslim Fulani woman in your land. So keep in mind, like I keep saying, everybody lives together. The tribalism thing you be talking about, I mean, it's, it's almost like a non factory. It's a non factory, to be honest. So this is cheese. Voila. I know some Yorubas will be trying to correct me in the, in the line in, in on the comment section, but I promise you, I've been practicing to say that word for 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Hold on. Apparently, you can drink the juice too, because I'm looking at this boy over here, and he's drinking the juice. He drunk the juice, so I'm gonna drink the juice. Okay, so far that tastes like warm cheese, liquid, warm cheesy juice. Okay, let's try. You're laughing, huh? You're laughing at me, yo. Hmm. Okay. So it tastes like unsalted string thing. Yeah. You know, like how we go and we buy a string cheese. It tastes like string cheese without the salt. Yes. String cheese without the salt. That's what it is. String cheese without, without the salt. So yeah, we've been we've been eating string cheese for thousands of years, apparently. So yeah, bought this from the Fulani in your land, which is a kitty in your land. So today I went and I bought ate some Ibo food in your land, and I bought some Fulani food in your land, which is my bar. This is my bar here. So yeah, so yeah, string cheese. That's what this is. Don't ask me to pronounce it because I already forgot how to say it within this within this message. Okay, so don't put the pressure on me. That's all I got to say. Afro thinking, learn something, teach them. I'm out.